Welcome to the Using SignWriter Studio videos. This video is going to explain how to use the sign editor and the basic editing of a sign. So there are two different places to get to the sign editor in SignWriter Studio. One is from the document. If you have a, a document with a sign, you can click right click on it, click edit in editor and it will open the sign editor for you so you can edit the sign or you can also get to it from the dictionary so if we have a dictionary open and we search for a sign search for it and so that sign you can either click on that row and then click edit sign writing or we can also double click on the sign as well which also brings up the sign editor so once you're in the sign editor you have many different tools to work with so I'm going to show you a few here I'm going to pull this over so the area where the sign is actually edited is over here it's called sign you can click on the symbols and drag them around you can use the arrow keys to move them use shift arrow keys to move them by a, a lot at a time um, you can also select several symbols at a time and move them all together. You can also um, do all these different things with them as well. You can center a sign. You can undo what you just did. You can duplicate a symbol. Choose it duplicate and there we are we have two of the same you can also remove a symbol just by clicking there or we can select the symbol and press delete and that will also remove it we can undo that with control Z bring it back again um, you can center the head in the sign you can overlap symbols for example if we have two different heads they're pretty much the same size you might have an eyebrows and you might have another one with a mouth let's find one here with a mouth but here's a nice little smile there we are okay and we want to put them one over top of the other just select both of them right click overlap symbols and there we are they're one on top of each other but maybe you want to just select one of them and so what you can do is select them and then Click separate symbols, and there we are. They're spaced out so we can click them individually and drag them around. Also, um, we can select, move them to different areas which with the with the numeric keyboard. Five is for in the center, making it each of the positions around it. So let's say you have a symbol that's stuck up here, and you don't want to move it with the arrow keys all the way to the center. Just press on five, and there you are, and you can just move it from there, wherever you need to move it to. Um, you can select all symbols, select the next symbol, the next symbol, and it will go through each of the symbols. The previous symbol as well. You can add next to the selected. So press on adding one more symbol to the selected symbols. Um, also, some symbols can be on top of other ones. So here, you see the he head is on top and the hand is below. So let's do change that. So we'll right click on the hand and move up. Move up again. There we are. Now the hand is on top of the other symbol. So you can change the order the symbols are on the screen. You can also change the colors. You can do colors can colorize them all so we can colorize that symbol actually and if we don't have anything selected to work on all of the symbols there we are so they're all colorized or we can switch them all back to black if they were or we can choose a few symbols press control to select several of them and then colors principal color and change that to some color that we like over here is a nice green okay unselect there we are so when we're selecting something that come purple and the rest are black that's always the case 
So when we non select with them, they go back to the normal colors. You can also change the size. So if we click on the symbol, select it. If we press plus, it becomes bigger, minus becomes smaller. Uh, we can also use the min here, right click, size, larger, size, smaller. And then we have the undo and redo. Also, we can copy the image, so we can copy image and then we can paste it into paint. So paint and paste that. There we are. So we've got a snapshot of the picture of the image. Also, we can copy the sign and we can paste it into another one. So we can merge two signs that way. We did the sign and end up with a blank empty. When it's no, there are no symbols at all, we have this little um, rectangle at the top showing that it's actually empty. Um, also, so let's undo that. Okay, so let's say I want select these symbols and the sign. I'm going to so let me just select anything here. So we can just copy, copy sign. Right. So let's move these over somewhere else. Okay, sign, paste into sign, and there we are. So we hit on the clipboard, it's now pasted into the sign, so now we've got that twice. We can also select several symbols like this, make another copy by duplicating them as well. That's another way we can work with that. Um, okay, if you select just one symbol, it's going to show up here in the chooser. So there's the smile, there's the frown. And it also looks it up here, so you can choose something else similar. And I can want to change that symbol that's selected. I can replace it. If it's one selected, then it replaces it. If not, it adds it. So replace. But if I don't have anything selected, I click it, then it actually adds it as a new symbol to the sign. And so let's click on this arrow. Okay. So now we've got a hand, an arrow chooser. The arrow chooser, we can choose what plane we want to place it in. So unless it's in the floor plane, this is in the wall plane. We easily switch between one and the other. And it also sh sh shows it here. So if you want a longer arrow, we can come here. And you want it in the floor plane always. Okay, so this one's still selected. So hit, hit add replace, and there we are. It's changed. And so these here, these sections, favorites, all in search, are all to find the general group for a symbol. And then once you found the group, then this chooser will let you choose the actual symbol. So let's go into favorites. So here we have a lot of different symbols that have been added to favorites already. You can make it add your own, call them whatever you like them to be called. And then you come over here and you start typing what it, what it is. So for F, there's flat. If I do um, F again, I get fast. F there is F. So let's see, I can also type T O U, touch. There we are. We've got the touch. If I go to flat, there I get flat. If I go F I S T, F A S T, fast. I type fist, but there's no fist, so I got it. That's why it beat. Okay, so we're back to flat. We're back to fast. And then once I'm, I'm there, I can click on it. I can press enter and it adds it to the sign and I can choose something more appropriate similar to it and so this is how you can get symbols added by name you can call them what you want to call them you can take them out too if you don't like one you can click on it and click on remove select it and click remove or you can also click add and add it to, let's choose another one here. Here, there's an oval, oval, click add, and there we are, we can move that to the, come over here, move that to the center. So, depending on which section of the sign editor you're in, the keys will affect that part of the, of the, of the sign editor. So, if you're over here, and that's blue, then whatever you type is going to be finding the favorites. If you're in this section, then it's going to change between all the all the different groups in um, the sign writer alf sign writing alphabet. 
option uh, one if you click on one in type one it'll go to your hands two it'll go to the movements three go to the punctuation four goes to the heads and so on so you get to each section fast as well type in just a, a, a number and so you can go drill down and get the one you want and then get the actual symbol and then pull across here and then and you've got it you can also drag it from here as well or you can just move up with the up and down with the cursor and press enter and then it adds it and then you can you've got it in your sign so those are two ways of doing it. You can also start typing as well if it's so you type squeeze, there you are. Or if I type flick, it'll go to the first one. If I have hinge, it'll move around. If I, I type head, it doesn't find it because it's folded up right now. If I type now that I've got it opened up, if I type head, there we are. Or I can it'll move around. By typing um, the descriptions as well. On top of that, we've got the search, so we can search by by hand shape. This is only for searching for hands. If I hit reset, so I want a hand that it's a fist. If I hit search, so I get list of all the so symbols that have a fist. Or if I want it to be a circle or an oval, I get all of those. I can hit reset. I don't care what what root shape it is, but let's say I want it to have this these two pre pre protruding and the other ones I don't care about. So I hit search, and there we are. So we've got those two, at least those two, those two fingers protruding. They have more. Um, or we want to make sure none don't want to have the thumb, the ring finger, ring finger, or the baby finger showing. So hit search. I should only get those ones two fingers off of the base shape if I res reset I can also look for ones that have hooks those are symbols that have hooks um, I can look for ones that are cupped in one way or another I can have look for fingers that are crossed are crossed fingers or I can look for fingers that touch the middle touching the middle of the finger fingers that are touched or stuck together as units so um, if you're looking for a, a, a symbol and you can't find it you can look through this and find the symbol and once you've found it down here you click on it and then it's like just like any other symbol you can choose what um, direction and which plane you want to, sh to draw it in so the next section is sequence you can add um, a sequence from a sign so you can always select them in your sign click add from from sign and there we are so there's two and we can also move them up or down which ones comes first and you al can also choose them from all Let's say we want a position symbol. Okay, let's try a location symbol here. Okay, and go over the sequence and let's do add from chooser. There we are, and we've got it added also to the sequence. So we can also delete, select them and delete them, or we can delete them all as well. Okay, so now for the choosers, there's three type three types of choosers. One is for hands. A hand chooser is going to help you choose it so you can choose a right hand or a left hand depending and then the palm facing you can have palm facing you edge of the hand back of the hand pinky side edge of the hand so you can choose this hand in plane wall plane and then here also in the floor plane in eight positions Let's try one that's a bit easier. Let's try a flat hand here in the palm. Okay, so we've got the right hand in eight positions. 
We also have the left hand in eight positions. And here it looks just exactly the same because it, these look the same. Let's try five hand. You can see there is a difference. Five hand. There we are. Okay, so here's the here are the right hands is the same with the left hand all in the wall plane and then each of those we have in the floor plane as well and also the left hand as well in the floor plane so with that we can draw pretty much every hand position and so that's so once you've chosen the position you want you can just drag it over into your sign or you can hit add replace if you want to place a sign a symbol that's already selected or add the, if none are selected it will add it to your sign the next one is um, the arrow chooser so we have an arrow and we can choose the right hand the left hand split posed hands or no arrowhead so it's just split posed hands on both the hand movement will run over the top of the other one and we can choose here in the wall plane or in the floor plane. Sometimes some of them, some arrows um, have also have a flip. So let's try one that's does the circles, circle movements. Here we are. This one it has a right and a left and superpose and also has a flip. So it goes the opposite way as well. So you need to choose which one and then flip. So the general chooser is just a list of the symbols in that group. So we can choose them, click on the group and get the list of symbols and we can choose the use the one symbol you want to use. So that's the general overview of the sign editor. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask them on the sign list.